Hey friends, I am back with another motivating video to help you get the motivation that you need to get some things checked off of your to-do list today. In today's video, I'm taking you along for a full day of cleaning, grocery shopping, and restocking our fridge and pantry. So come hang out with me and let's tackle our to-do list together. All right, you guys, so my kids are at school. I have a seventh grader and a fifth grader, so they're already at school. I have gone for a little walk this morning, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get some laundry started. I got this laundry hamper off of Amazon a few months ago, and I am absolutely loving it. It's the 170 liter hamper, and it does come in a few other sizes that are smaller than this one. And I will admit, when I first got this hamper, I thought it was too big, but now that I've had it for over a couple of months, I am loving it. I love the size of it. I can fit two huge loads of laundry in this hamper. But if you need a smaller one, they do have smaller sizes too. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the first load of laundry started for the day. And then I have a load of towels in the dryer that I'm gonna quickly fold straight out of the dryer and put those away. And then I ended up jumping in the shower. I did not wash my hair because I knew I was gonna be running around, cleaning, grabbing groceries, doing all that stuff. So I didn't wash my hair, just threw it up in a clip, got changed, and got the rest of the stuff done that was on my to-do list for the day. So now that you know what's on my to-do list, which is basically laundry, cleaning out the fridge, getting groceries, and restocking our fridge and pantry, y'all let me know what's on your to-do list for today and say hey down in the comments. I'm laying down at the compiling. Okay, now that I have showered and changed, I am gonna go ahead and tidy up the downstairs and also clean out our refrigerator. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my cleaning tasks are so redundant. I feel like I'm constantly doing the same thing. I'm always picking up items that are dropped off right here by our countertops right here in the kitchen because when we come in our house we come in through our garage which leads straight into our kitchen so this is just our drop zone where everything is dropped off and then of course we've always got dishes to put away or dishes to load into the dishwasher laundry to do but i'll be honest i am always thinking about how all too soon, my kids are going to be grown and I'm going to have two less mouths to feed, two less people to clean up after or laundry to do. And I'm just, I'm already so sad about it. Just thinking about it. My kids are in seventh and fifth grade and the years are just flying by. I just, I can't believe it. My iPhone actually made this little video for me the other day and it was my two kiddos together over the years and I was just so sad like watching it. I mean it was obviously the sweetest thing ever but I was also so sad because I'm like gosh that seems like just yesterday that they were itty bitty babies and now they're tackling their middle school years, you know? So I keep reminding myself that I am so blessed to have these two kiddos to clean up after, an amazing husband who helps, and I'm gonna miss, you know, the busy schedule, the busy life, the constant picking up. I'm gonna miss this one day, and I know I will. <laughs> okay, moving on, we are gonna clean out the refrigerator now. I have some leftovers in here, some items that need to be thrown away, and then others that we still are eating on, so that'll go back in the fridge, but I do wanna wipe down the shelves and the drawers in here before I put everything back in. And then I'm actually gonna run to Sam's Club and pick up a grocery order. 
All right, so here's a look at the inside of the fridge. It is not too messy. And I don't do this every single week where I pull everything out. I do it at least once a month. But if I happen to spill something in the fridge or something leaks or whatever, then I'll just, you know, clean that little area up. But definitely once a month, I'll pull everything out and wipe down the fridge. I can sit to So I don't know about you guys, but we love some leftovers in this house. A lot of times I will cook and then we will actually eat leftovers the next day and then I will keep eating leftovers for lunch if we have even more. Um, so on the shelf, I'm just putting, we've got some chicken broccoli rice casserole that's left over, some leftover pizza, and also half of a sub, a public sub. And then we've just got some fruit and boiled peanuts. And I did not know until I shared a Sam's Club haul recently that not everyone has heard of boiled peanuts before. So we get these huge cans of boiled peanuts and then we just kind of throw them in a bag or you can heat them up on the stove if you want to. But we love taking these for baseball games. So we'll eat boiled peanuts out there or even at the beach. We just love them as a little snack. All right, so now I'm gonna clean out this drawer. This is the drawer that we use pretty much for cheese and deli meats. And so I'm gonna clean this out and you're gonna see we have lots of cheeses. I don't know why, but we love cheese and not everybody's like that, but I pretty much eat cheese at almost every meal. <laughs> I just love it. All right, the fridge is nice and clean and I can restock it once we go to the store and pick up our groceries, but I am just throwing away anything that was expired in the fridge or any leftovers that have been in here for too long. And I will say we do try to eat up all of our leftovers in these containers. There really wasn't a whole lot left except for this one, which I'm telling you guys, we had so much leftover. It was actually like a chicken salsa recipe that we had made in the crock pot and I made a ton of it so we had just too much left over and then I had planned on freezing some of it but completely forgot left it in the fridge for too long and it was no longer <laughs> safe to eat so all that to say we try to eat up all of our leftovers but it doesn't always happen some weeks are crazier than others and dinner plans get changed or rearranged and we don't always end up eating the entire thing of leftovers but we try to All right, so now I'm going to wash these dishes here that I pulled out from our leftovers that were in the fridge, and then I'm headed to pick up our groceries. <laughs> Hit 
you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came in way too strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. All right, I'm getting the van ready to go pick up my groceries and I had a couple stadium seats that were in the car from baseball games and then I also needed to put these seats down so that all the Sam's Club stuff could fit. Now usually I will take a couple of laundry baskets or even my husband has this rolling like tote basket but since he had that with him for work I didn't have that and then we had laundry in the hampers so I'm just going to throw all the stuff in the back of the car today and just do it the old-fashioned way and get everything out one by one. Now, I actually ended up going to Walmart first, so I ran in there really quick, um, throwing this stuff that I got from Walmart in the car, and then we will pick up the Sam's order. Telling you that I need you, but you're off my radar now. Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you all right, I am back from Walmart and Sam's. I forgot to do a Walmart pickup order, so I did have to run in just for a few things. So I'll show you the Walmart stuff first, and then I'll show you everything I got from Sam. So I put my Walmart stash over here. Starting with this, I got just a 12 pack of little snacks to go in with their lunch. They're always wanting something sweet in their lunch boxes. So I got some of these to go in there to make it easy. I got some honey ham. I got two packs of this so that we can make ham and Swiss sliders. Some tortillas for um, quesadillas, wraps, breakfast burritos, pretty much anything that you can eat with a wrap, tacos. <laughs> um, and then I got some Ritz crackers. Some of these are actually going for the boys for baseball tonight. They get done super late, so we do a snack after their baseball game. So um, I'm doing Ritz crackers and then I'll show you what else I got for them. But I also got some mandarin oranges for the kids for a snack, strawberries and blueberries. They do have some strawberries and grapes left in the fridge, but they're almost gone. So I went ahead and got a little bit more to get us through the rest of the week. I was gonna get grapes too, but the grapes didn't look that great at Walmart. So I just ended up getting strawberries and blueberries and then they have these oranges too. So that's plenty. And then I also got some carrots for a little afternoon snack after school. Some pretzels to go in their trail mixes that I make. And some cosmic brownies to keep on hand for dessert. Alright, now the rest of this stuff is from Sam's Club. And this I did do a pickup order today. Sometimes I go in, sometimes I just feel like walking through and like looking to see what all they have. But this week I decided just to do a pickup order to save a little money and some time. So I got toilet paper, even though most of our toilet paper is stocked up in the bathrooms, but I know I'm going to have to restock within the next couple of weeks. And so I went ahead and got it from Sam's just to save some money. Um, we got some eggs, gushers. This is also going to be for after the ball game. They just are getting some gushers, the Ritz crackers and a Gatorade. I got some chips for snacks, Cheez-Its and Goldfish. I like doing trail mixes with these. Some popcorn. This is probably the kids' favorite afternoon snack. And then I got some Cordon Blues. The, these I just keep on hand in the freezer just because some nights I just don't feel like cooking. 
but I can just pop this in the oven and cook some like easy pasta and have a side salad or a bro or some broccoli. My kids love broccoli. So that's usually the vegetable of choice for them. And this is just easy to keep on hand. Um, I got this three pack of pizzas. We love the Red Baron pizzas. And honestly, we've been cooking these instead of ordering pizza out. We'll just throw this in the oven. Nutella. We've got M&M's. These are for the kids trail mixes. The peanut M&M's are for me. I have not been eating Reese's much lately. <laughs> That's so crazy because I feel like every grocery haul a few years ago would have been Reese's Take Fives. But I've been on a peanut M&M kick lately. So had to get some of those. Um, some Hawaiian rolls. This is a two pack of 32 rolls. So I'll keep one of the packs out and put the other in the freezer. And then the same with the bread. We already have a pack of bread out, so I'm just gonna take these two loaves and put them in the freezer just to have backup. And then the last couple of items that I got were these Gain um, scent beads. I just refilled our jar in the laundry room, but I, since I was going to Sam's anyways, the best price is there, so I went ahead and got this one. And then I also went ahead and got some dryer sheets. And then for drinks today, I got Red Bull, the sugar-free Red Bulls from Sam's in a 24-pack. And then a 28-pack of Gatorades from Sam's. All right, I'm going to start with putting the freezer items away first. And this is our stand-up freezer that we keep in our garage. I actually got this last year and did a whole video organizing the freezer. We used to have one of those deep freezers, and I was just over it. I kept hitting my knuckles on the ice every time I would pull out the containers and it was just a mess. So we got this stand-up freezer and I love it so much. We can just store so much more food in here and stock up on things that we use all the time and even make freezer meals to put in here. And you can also see everything at once and see what all you have. So it just makes it so much easier for weekly meal planning. All right, now I'm putting away the fridge items. So I put the oranges in there. I'm gonna wash our fruit really quick, let those soak in some vinegar. And then I also got the kids some carrots to snack on and I'm just gonna season those with a little bit of ranch seasoning. And I also wanted to say that the containers that I use to keep all my fruit in, you're gonna see me put my carrots in them and I also use them for leftovers all the time. They're also great for deli meat, cheese, literally anything you wanna keep in your fridge. They're gonna keep them lasting so much longer because they're airtight containers. And I'm telling you, my fruit lasts so long in these. These are the best containers that I've ever had for my fruits and vegetables. And now I'm gonna move on to snacks. So some of these I'm gonna put down at the bottom of our pantry because we don't quite need them out yet. And then the rest of them, I'm gonna unbox everything and organize them into our pantry snack containers. Also, I was in charge for bringing snacks this day to their baseball game, like for after their baseball game, because my son, his games are from seven to nine, so they get done really, really late. So they typically ask parents to sign up to bring a snack for after the game. So we are bringing peanut butter crackers, gushers, and Gatorades. So you'll see me put some of that stuff to the side and in a bag, and that's because those are for after the game tonight. Now my kids do bring snacks to school every single day, so we stock up on goldfish and Cheez-Its, and then I do these little snack mixes because the kids request this all the time. So I just pulled out a bunch of little Ziploc bags and I'm filling them. Some of them are getting goldfish, the other half are getting Cheez-Its, and then all of them are getting pretzels and the little M&Ms inside. But having these little snack bags made 
just makes everything so much easier the night before school when my kids are picking out their snack for the next day. They can just go in the pantry, grab a snack, and throw it in their backpack. All right, so the pantry is all restocked and here's a little look at what it looks like. This is literally like all snacks. We've got our canned goods and we've got extras here on the bottom. And then we've got lots of chips, lots of other snacks, breakfast, some pastas, and then a lot of extras on the top too and cereal. All right, so now I'm gonna cut up our strawberries and throw those and the blueberries into our little container and those will be ready to snack on. All right, I'm back out here in the garage now because I'm gonna go ahead and restock our drink fridge. I have all these drinks down here. So this is our ginormous freezer that we got, I don't know, was it last year or the year before? And I love it. You can see how much bigger it is than our outdoor refrigerator. But we used our refrigerator for all of our drinks. So we've got like waters, Capri Suns, Gatorades, all that kind of stuff that we keep out here. And I'm just gonna restock it really quick. I do wanna wipe down the shelves too because it's been a while since I've wiped down the inside. So I'm gonna wipe that down and then restock it. Okay, I know we all have that one drink that we just cannot live without. So y'all tell me what yours is down in the comments. I would say mine is probably Diet Dr. Pepper. Like that is probably my one drink that I have to have at least once a day. Um, I drink water pretty much other than that, and every now and then I'll drink a Red Bull or an Alani. I love those drinks too, but Diet Dr. Pepper is definitely my go-to must-have that I can't live without. <laughs> Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway when I'm with you. I have it all. You slip away oh, 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 and you don't have to be afraid I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time
did stop by the girls section just to peek at what they had and I of course came out with some stuff for Gracie June so let me show you what I got really quick last week I did a Target haul for her and this week I got a few things from Walmart I didn't get a ton but definitely some cute stuff that she'll be able to wear all spring and summer and since most of her shorts are too short for her now um, she's got a few that I got from from Target last week and then these that I got from Walmart today. So these are just a pair of black shorts that she can wear for her field trip that's coming up with like her spirit shirt. Um, these are the Athletic Works brand and they're just some regular shorts. They do have pockets. And then I got her these. These are also Athletic Works brand and they have a drawstring on the inside and they are like a, a paint splash pattern. I thought these were so cute. And then to go with these shorts, I got her this athletic shirt. It's like a dry fit shirt in this purple color. Um, I figured she could wear that together. And then they did have, I was going to tell y'all, they did have a ton of different colors in these short, shorts. And I would have gotten her more, but they didn't have her size in any of the other colors. But they had like teal green, black. Um, just a plain pink so several other colors which I'll link all this stuff for you down in the description box in case you want any of these items for your girls um, and then I got the same little purple shirt and pink this is also in lots of different colors and then this is what I was most excited about so I used to wear Sophie's um, y'all will have to let me know if you wore Sophie's but we wore Sophie's, like that was the thing, in middle school and high school. That was like the athletic shorts, you know? You didn't have like your running shorts or whatever. Those were your running shorts, were Sophie's. And we would always roll them up once, sometimes twice. But I saw these at Walmart, and I felt like they looked just like Sophie's, but the elastic waistband is like a color block. So when you roll your shorts once, you get that color block with the orange and pink and I thought it was so cute so I got her these with the orange and pink and then I also got her the blue and green and they had lots of other colors too they had black with purple purple with pink um, gray with purple so several different colors I'll make sure to link these two but I thought this would be so cute with this pair of shorts this hot pink shirt, we're going neon you guys, and then the shorts that I showed y'all last week, I pulled them out so I could show y'all, these, not shorts, shoes, the shoes that I showed you guys that I got from Amazon last week, how cute would all of this be together? And I wasn't even thinking about this until I saw her shoes and I was like, oh wait, she could wear that with all this that I just got her, that would be so cute. So anyways, these are from Amazon, the rest of the stuff is from Walmart's, and I will make sure to link it all for you. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to share with y'all for today's video is this baked chicken tacos recipe. It was so good and so easy. So first of all, I made my chicken in the crock pot. I just did three chicken breasts, threw those in there, and then two, I did two packets of taco seasoning, a huge can of Rotel, and then I also did a can of diced chilies. And then I just cooked my chicken on low for about four hours. You could do four to six if you want. And sometimes I'll just shred my chicken in the crock pot with my tongs, but this time since there was just so much in there, I decided to pull each chicken breast out. And I got this little chicken shredder off of Amazon a while back. You just stick the chicken in there, put the top on, and then you kind of move it back and forth and it shreds your chicken. You can use this 
Or you could even use a blender, which I just didn't feel like pulling out my blender, but you could definitely do it that way too. And then once you have your chicken shredded, you're just gonna throw it back in the crock pot and mix it all back up. Your scars don't say my name, stay with me till the stars fade away. And your scars don't, your scars don't hurt. Your scars don't hurt. Next, I sprayed a 13 by 9 baking dish and I put my taco shells in here and I got the big taco shells that just stand up on their own because we wanted some big filling chicken tacos tonight. And then I have this little gadget here that's also from Amazon that I'm using just to shred up my cheese really quick and I used pepper jack and Colby jack. Next, I filled up all of my taco shells with my chicken mixture, and you can also add refried beans on the bottom of these, but I figured my kids probably wouldn't eat it with the refried beans, so I just left that off and filled each of the shells with the chicken mixture. And then now I'm just adding that cheese on top of all of my chicken tacos. I did leave two without cheese just because my son doesn't really like his cheese melted. So I'm going to wait to put his cheese on later after they're done baking in the oven. All right, so I let them bake in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes and then pulled them out and the shells were all nice and crispy and cheese was melted. And then of course you can add whatever toppings you want. We did some shredded lettuce, sour cream, pico de gallo, and then I also get this Cholula sauce. It's the green pepper one. It is so good. So because of the chicken mixture, it did make the bottom of the chicken tacos just a little bit soggy if you let them sit for too long, but we devoured them pretty quickly and they are messy, but they are so good. Everyone in my family loved them and we're definitely gonna be making these again soon because they were so easy and delicious. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. If you are still here and watching, leave me a sunshine emoji so I know you made it all the way to the end and thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for y'all and I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Bye.